Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Bandless season is uh, seemingly upon us and I was working really, really hard at probably the, my biggest video up to date, but I had to stop production and stop writing the script and everything um, just to give a little bit of time for this amazing holiday gift that we just got from Konami. So yes, that is true. A new Forbidden Limited list has been announced, which is going to be effective from um, January 1st. How fitting. No more events, no more sets until the end of the year, so it makes sense to drop a list right about now. And um, it is definitely time to get into it. Before we begin, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We already had our predictions a while ago because I felt like the, the ban list is, is coming. And also, it was relatively hard to know what exactly will be hit because there were so many decks in the format. The last list that we got in September was like, meh. Just like three cards. Um, but now, it's time, baby. Aguido, the Ancient Sentinel, Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard, both forbidden. Tier limits have been incredibly strong in the last couple of events. Um, ever since Kostyar Arisehart went to zero, basically, tier limits were, were just like unchecked. With all the limitations, and we saw this in the OCG as well, this deck is very resilient. And I'm gonna be surprised if we don't see more of this deck. Um, definitely warranted, very, very powerful cards, both um, banned in the OCG as well. It definitely makes sense. Um, Mathmex Circular, on the other hand, is just extremely funny. I agree that the card is, it, it went to one, two ban lists ago, and Mathmex have been doing not really well since just like so many good decks have come up um just like unlimited full power decks like unchained pearly um infernoble fire kings and and rescue ace that math mechs weren't really being played as math mechs but this is just beyond funny that they actually just ban circular obviously an extremely powerful card one card otk with with like any cyber strategy very powerful, but like kind of surprising that that they actually banned it. It's kind of like it's kind of insane. And lastly, a card that I've been um, calling for it to be banned over on Twitter for a year probably, and I was like, this card will get banned someday. Um, this card has been released for several years now and always have been like really really strong. And now with Infernobles and Mechanko OTKs, yeah, it's about time. It's old. You, you've seen me tweet about this if you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, check out the description below. Bannable, bannable, bannable. Um, yeah, we did not, in fact, get Dimension Shifter, Drollin Lockbird, anything like that in the Forbidden list. I was calling for Beatrice as well. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Let's see what else is on this wonderful list. And this was, I saw this image, and I was shocked. So let's dive into it. Unchained Soul of Sharvara. Um, we're gonna do a video tomorrow about the winners and losers of this list. Um, and Unchained is sort of like the in-between, because Sharvara is a resource that you need to keep, but it doesn't make it so that you can't end up on DDD um, Wave High King Caesar. Um, it doesn't prevent you from doing that, it hits the consistency of the deck, and with the deck with so many two-card combos, it makes sense to go for the consistency hit. Um, Lifter to one is, in fact, a very good hit, in my opinion. It does not kill the deck at all. Um, you probably just increase your non-engine count because you already have some boost inf of consistency with the Sinful Spoils engine. Um, so now you actually have to get the Lifter and not just rely on having the emergency at all times. Because now if you draw the emergency, you have to open it combined with other things. And, and now Lifter is a bit harder to search in the deck, but I don't think it's gonna do too much. Redox, irrelevant. Harpoor was never legal with Bestial's round, so we'll see. I think it's gonna spark a lot of creativity and I like that a lot. I'm really happy, I've been calling for it to be released. Hopefully it's gonna go to three. Right now in Master Rule, it is a three and it's doing absolutely nothing, nobody's playing it. Um, really happy to see that. Gozen, rivalry, and there can be only one somebody's listening uh even though it might not always seem like someone is somebody's listening um this is incredible this is a beautiful hit 
solves a lot of really annoying problems in the format. A lot of decks is just like, just like utilize these cards, just like out of toxicity because they can. Um, now they just can't. Incredible hits, in my opinion. Should have gone to zero. I think they kind of missed out on skill drain here, unfortunately. But as we see, Labyrinth is relatively unchecked. So Son of Landrias and Healer, Rika hits, wonderful. I think I think it's fine. Now it kind of makes it so that it's really awkward to resolve Jasmine. It's a little bit harder. I think just banning Jasmine altogether would have been better. But with all the aroma support in Phantom Nightmare, it makes sense that they don't. Um, Ib. I wasn't around when it was a thing. People are clamoring about this, like FTKs, FTKs. Um, I'm gonna be super doubtful uh, if it's gonna see any play. I think it's the same thing with Denglong. Um, came out, people went crazy, nobody played this. Uh, and Snatch Steel is hilarious. If you don't know, this card was um, unlimited, banned, back to limited, and then stayed for one format and got banned again. Again, I've been calling this card to, to go back to one. I don't really think people are going to play it. Um, I'm really disappointed to not see Pot of Prosperity in this list. And I'm really disappointed to not see Triple Tactics Talent in this list. I think those two were are still going to be a menace. Um, Talents is a little bit better. Prosperity is just like an incredible card. That maybe we just have to live with the fact that it's at one. I thought maybe after the Rarity Collection it's going to go to, to one. But no. And also... No hits to Labyrinth, it is kind of crazy, especially with um, Transaction Rollback on the horizon. I, I And also Branded Fusion surviving another, another, another list, I thought that was like, yeah, maybe it could go to one in, in a list as big as this, but we, we keep on keeping on. Um, Semi-Limited, Pearly, Sleepy Memory, I think this is a good hit. I don't think Pearly necessarily has to die, it's gonna be hard to kill the deck without touching Noir, um, but... I think Sleepy Memory is fine. It's going to make it a little bit harder to reach it with Happy, uh, with with uh, my friend Pearly, sorry. Um, and it's just going to make the deck a little bit more annoying to play. It's not going to kill the deck. I think the deck is still going to be one of the top decks uh, in the format for sure. Pancrit ups to two. Let's go. I predicted this going to three. And I think it should. I think this is absolutely great. This card is really, really good. Also, by the way, limited no Fenrir here. Um, sorry guys, my three ulties are still uh, surviving. And Speedroid Terror Top, cool. I don't, I don't think it does anything. This is pretty cool. Infernity Archfin, again, kind of irrelevant, probably. Kashiar Unicorn is okay in my opinion. I think it was fine to just like leave it at two until we take care of the big problem. Got it out. Mind Control, nobody's gonna play it. Spellbook of Judgment just got my three QCRs yesterday because I was like, yeah, it's going to three. I don't think it's going to see enough play. It's not, probably not fast enough for this format. Now, the next two, Upstart Goblin to three and Desires to three. Somebody wants Strikers to, to go nuts. I think Desires to, th to three it's, is okay. We haven't really seen Desires being played in any deck just because of the, the, the way decks are built right now in this format. A lot of decks have like a lot of important one-ofs. Um, Infernoble has them. Pearly has them. Um... Tier Limits definitely has them, so um, a lot of, and Chain too, a lot of these decks rely on the one-ofs, so yeah, I mean, it hasn't been seen play in almost any deck up until now, like in the past few formats, nobody played Desire, so I think it's, yeah, sh sure, go ahead, Upstart is funny, I don't know, um, we're gonna have a lot of deck lists this week, so we're, you're gonna see my Striker list, and maybe it contains three Upstart Goblin, and then three Sprite Starter, I guess it's fine, so no lab hits, no runic hits. Fenrir still a three, but overall, just to not make this video too long, this list is incredible to wrap up the year, to get ready for Maze of Millennia, Phantom Nightmare. Those sets are really gonna take over in terms of like Rescue Ace, Fire Kings. Everything in, in the fire area is gonna get a lot of support, but still, we, are, we have a really big ban list that doesn't kill any deck in my opinion maybe infernoble is like definitely unplayable i think every other deck is going to find a solution to, to to play under this ban list beautiful awesome job konami love this more of this please in the future guys leave it down below what do you guys think again subscribe turn on the bell because there's going to be a ton 
of new format videos for the rest of the week. And again, next week, the biggest video ever on the channel. So stick around, follow me on Twitter as well for all the updates. Join us on Discord. Love you guys. Enjoy this one. Happy holidays. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.